Hello and welcome to my craft room. My name is Michelle Wells. I'm a Stamping Up demonstrator from Tasmania, Australia. Thanks for joining me on Fun Fold Friday. Today I'm going to do a quick little project, um, but before I do that, I just want to mention um, if you haven't got a demonstrator and you live in Australia, I'd be happy to post out these catalogues to you. Um, so, but in the um, show more box below, um, I'll have all the details um, of where you can sign up to my mailing list and to get my newsletter and to get the catalogue. Um, but if you're watching it back on YouTube, um, it'll be in the show more box um, where you can um, get this. So, um, and but in the show more box on either like this on the live or um, on the um, YouTube, I'll have all the details of where you can get in contact with me for to get the newsletter or um, to join my team or um, so all everything could be there anyway so um, and if you would like to um, join like join my newsletter um, I will be giving out a free PDF on um, um, different projects each week so but I'll just have a look see if I can find myself on the computer sorry about my croaky voice um, I'm still um, suffering with this dreaded cold but um, I'm not going to let it stop me today but anyway I'm going to have a look see if I can find myself um, I think I've found myself there I was inspired by something out of my um, grandson's um, craft box um, well actually not craft box but I'll pop that up a little bit more um, 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 I was inspired um, from something in my um, grandson's um, like box um, on their bookshelf actually and I here a while back I brought um, my husband bought one of these and I can't find the books but it's a little door hanger I don't know if you can see it I'll put it that way anyway um, but um, it's a little door hanger and it ha holds books in it so I decided that I'd make um, one um, because I haven't seen my grandchildren well, my grandsons for nearly three weeks now. It would be probably nearly three weeks. Um, and my I'm, my cough's not as bad now um, if I don't talk too much. But um, I've decided that I was going to make them um, something like this. But I'll show you what I've made. I'll pop that one down there. I've made this little box here. And um, I've made this one so I can show you um, what I've done. So I've actually um, mucked around with making a template to make one of these. So, um, and it's filled with lollies, but I'm not putting these in with mine. But I've made this one, and this one's for Lincoln. Um, he's the oldest of the two grandsons, um, he, and he loves yellow. So I decided that um, I'd make um, this little, well, make two of them. So I've made this one for Lincoln, and because um, he loves yellow. So... <coughs> excuse me um so i've made this one for him and i'm gonna um pop skittles and um i'm not quite sure yet but i'm gonna fill a little bag up similar to this with skittles and some other little things and pop it in there and um, just like that so this is a cute little um little project that we're going to make today so um i'll show you what i used um so I've used the um, Sony Zebra stamp set. Um, I love the Zebras. I'm going to use the same one on Archie's. And um, so I'm going to use that. I'm using the Tasteful um, Labels dies. And I'm using, um, I've already got these out because I'm going to cut them. Um, so I'm going to be using that little one there. So I'll pop that one over there. And I'm also using the um, Layering Circles dies. So I'm using, um, I'm not quite sure if it's the second largest um, or the third. So it could be the fourth um, circle down. So, and I'm using, a, so I'm using that shape there and um, I'm going to use the um, scalloped one as well. So I'm using those out of that. So I'll pop them aside. And I'm also using the... Um, 2020 um 2022 in colors so i'm going to be using um because archie likes green so um 
I'm going to be using this one for him. So this is a Just Jade piece. So I'll get started. And before I um, finish that, I also, for the little bag here, that um, for this little bag here, I, um, I've used the, um, the printed gusseted um, cellophane bags. Um, so that's a pack of, um, how many is in there? Um, 25 so it's a pack of 25 bags so that's where I got that little bag from and um, I'm also going to be using the foam adhesive strips um, for the little uh, sentiment on the back of here so um, I actually found them while I was going through my craft room so we'll get started and we'll make that I'll have a look to see if anybody's on um, I've found myself here and I seem to be um, going all right so um i would just have a quick look and see if i have to say hello to anybody hello margaret how are you hi michelle hi kathy um gorgeous my favorite color you cheered me up now so which what which is your favorite color the um the yellow uh the bumblebee well actually it's daffodil delight so i've used daffodil delight and was it daffodil yeah daffodil delight and um the um bumblebee um the bumblebee um 2020 2022 um um paper and um so this one i'm using the just jade so so which one's your favorite color just jade or um the bumblebee so but anyway um I'm going to use a piece of this and um, I've got a piece there already. I've got most of my pieces here all. Um, so I've got my Just Jade. I've got my Just Jade um, designer series paper. I've got a piece of white here for my scrap to do my stamping on. And I've got a piece of um, basic black. So um, I'll pop them aside um, and I'll show you as I go along um, what I need to do. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to grab my um, Just Jade cardstock and oh the yellow. So you like the yellow? Yeah, I'm, the yellow is gorgeous. But um, you'll see me make the um, the Just Jade one, but it's the same principle. So you'll be able to. Um, so I'm just going to grab that out. So I need that to come right out. So my first piece. <coughs> so I've got my. Um, so I'm going to cut this. I'm going to pop him over there. Hopefully you can see that. So I'm going to cut this piece here at um, 10 and so this is going to be 5 inches. So it's going to be 5 inches um, wide. So so 5 inches wide. And don't, I'll keep, need to use some of that um, in a minute. And my other piece is going to be 10 and a half. So I think that was, yeah, 10 and a half by 5. So, and I thought I'd do a quick video today um, because I, my voice is slowly disappearing. So, so like I said, this piece was ten and a half by five. So on the five um, five inch side, so the short side, we're going to pop it. I like to um, pop it on the one on this side, so the one inch on this side. It's easier than trying to get it straight, and because it does tend to move. So I like to put it on the one inch side on this side of my trimmer and um, get rid of my cutting blade you know how damaging that is so I'm on the one inch side I'm going to um, score one inch on that side and then I'm going to flip it around and I'm going to score it at one inch on that side so and and then once you've got those, turn it around the long side. And the first one we're going to do is we're going to score it at three inches. So um, pop it in there. So we're going to go three inches. And then we're going to go to four inches. And then we're going to go to seven inches. So, And that's all the scoring we need to do. So I'll get rid of that for a minute. I actually... Before I get rid of that, I'll cut my um, my DSP as well. So I've stuck a little bit of ink. This landed in the ink pad, but it's not going to matter because I'm going to use that and I'm going to um, cut it um, 
cut this end off so you won't really see that so my first piece I'm gonna I'm using my six by six so I'm gonna cut this at two and three quarters it's two and three quarters yeah two and three quarters so I get rid of that one so two and three quarters and then we're going to flip it around and we're going to cut that at right so I'm going to pop that down so we're going to cut um I want that piece there so we're going to cut this at um three and a quarter so so those two pieces there um will be for your inside so I'll show you what I mean in a minute but cutting that one piece like us that like when you cut that at two and off so you've got your six inch by two and three quarters and then when you cut your three and a quarter off there that'll be your top piece and the bottom piece will be your bottom piece so I'll show you what I mean in a minute so that's all we need to do there so I'll show you when I ask, when I assemble the box what I mean by that. So now I'm going to get back to um, just going to no, we're not going to score that one. So this top line up here, um, you've got your um, like your three inch side here. Then you've got your one inch there, and then you've got so I'll sh show you what I mean. So we're going to score that one. I will fold on that score line, but we're not going to um, fold this one here. Um, because I want to keep that one straight so you'll you'll see what I mean and um, so we're going to fold this one here um, and I'll grab my um, you love just jade as well so I'm just going to give that a bit of a I'm going to do that same side too but I just don't want to fold that top piece up there so all we're doing is we're doing the bottom part so on those two so you've got yeah so we're actually if you look at it we're forming a box but I just that score line I don't want to fold on that score line so so what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to grab my scissors and I'm going to just chop in so I'm cutting into that um because this is your bottom of your um your box so this is going to make that box part so we're just cutting um each side there and and then we're going to cut down on this one up here as well so all those score lines going in we're going to cut all those um, as well so so that's our bottom of our box so like I said you put it in your thing um, score one inch either side and then you've got your three inch, your four inch, and your seven inch um, score lines. So this is the these two um, ones that you've scored down here is going to be your bottom. So to get started now, before I um, do any of the um, putting it together, what I'm going to do first is these two pieces that you cut with the DSP. So this piece here is going to go on here, and this piece because it's got the little bit of um, yellow. It's not going to really matter because this is going to be um so it's going to be on the other side of your box so you're not going to see see that so and that's how I said when you cut those two pieces if you cut the two and three quarters side first you'll have enough to do um each like out of the one piece um that you've cut so this other piece that you've cut you can make another one with so but um it's sort of I've worked it out it worked out itself really so so what I'm gonna do is this piece here I'm gonna grab my so I'm using I can't remember what this is called the trio punch um, so I'm gonna get the little curvy I just want to curve the sides so make sure you you're doing the um, so you got I'm gonna pop it in there and I'm just gonna cut those and what have I done there I must have ink somewhere else we might have to change that up so and um, okay I seem to have ink up there somehow so I don't know what happened there so but that's okay Archie he's not gonna um, it's not gonna worry him if it's got a little um, little bit of yellow up there so 
But um, all I've done is cut those little corners out using that punch. I forgot to tell you that I've used that one as well. So I'm going to glue this one on here first. Oh, what have I done? <laughs> okay, I know what I've done. So, so first, before I do that, I'm getting ahead of myself. I just use my little trimmer. Um, I thought this was easier because I don't cut seem to cut straight lines. You could cut this if you want to. But the, up the top here where I said to you don't fold on that score line, these little flaps here we don't need. So I'm just going to cut them off. So all I'm popping them is into my little trimmer and I'm just going to hopefully cut that without... Um, and it gives me a nice straight line, so I'm just going to fold that in there and um, I'm just going to cut that piece off as well. So, and um, keep those little pieces because they'll be good for your, um, your sentiments in a minute. So all I've done is this is your top piece here. So I should have showed you that before. I, I hope I'm not confusing. I'm not confusing you, am I? So, hi Sally, how are you? Um... Hopefully I haven't missed anybody else. I keep forgetting to look up there. So, so this is what you should have, like when you've scored all that, like you fold on, um, so you've cut in those centre pieces and then you cut that piece off up there. So, um, but once you, you, you may, uh, start mucking around, you'll, you'll get what I mean. So, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to, so that piece there, I've got to um, use this piece and cut that off too. So, isn't that funny? When you're doing this, um, when you're not doing it live, everything goes perfect. And then when you pop on to do it live, um, so all I've done is rounded off those edges. Um, so now we're going to pop that piece up on there and um, just um, forget, I might put a little, piece of um, bling or something on there or I might put some other little thing on there so all I'm going to do now is I'm going to glue this because I can't glue actually maybe if I glue that one up there um, I can do this one here and you might not see it I might be able to hide it with the um, the the sentiment so that might be uh, a way to go so I'll see how I go. I might do that this way this time. So I'm just going to glue this piece down to work out which side you want to have. Um, and you can do this in any um, any of the designer series paper. We've got some gorgeous ones. I'm just going to make sure that I... And um, my grandsons love um, door hanging things. So I've already showed my daughter-in-law and she said, oh, that um, they're going to love it. So, so I'm just popping that up there. And you'll see what I mean in a minute when I pop this piece. Um, so, so like if you was folding the, right, just making the box, this part here, so you've got that on the inside. So this part here is where you're going to pop this piece here. So I'm going to pop some glue on that one. And... And just just going to pop that on the oh I stuck that to my finger. And now it's oh that's lucky. Okay, and it keeps moving. So now I've got that on the um that side. So this is your your like how your box is. So you've stuck that piece on, and then you've got that on the front. So this is going to be the front of your box. So so now. Before I do any more um, of the, I'll pull that up there. Before I do any more of the, um, like sticking it together, I'm going to grab my um, cut and emboss and I'm going to bring it in. And I'm just going to get that so make sure. Um, so I've seen your comment no, so I'm not. Um, it's so, Kathy, you mean I'm not confusing you? <laughs> uh, sometimes I wonder if I can I confuse myself sometimes. <coughs> okay, so I'm going to bring that up there just a little bit, just so I can just make sure I can you can see what I'm doing. So hopefully, um, I'll just have a quick look. 
So what I'm going to do is um, I've got my magnetic um, strip there. So I'm going to pop this on here. And like I said, I've got these two circles. I'm not using the scallop one. I'm using the, um, the just a, um, you could use the scallop one. You could do it however you like. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to center that. Hopefully you can see. Yep, you can see. So I'm just going to center that the best I can um, and bring it sort of into the center of there. So once you've got that um, and you've got it where you like it, I'm just going to pop my... So we're using um, number one, number five and number three. So... And I'll, this is my magnetic platform. So, um, so I'm going to pop that number three on top. And I think that's moved a little bit. So I'm just going to stand up for a second. No, I'm happy with that. Okay, so, so now I'm just going to run that through. And I'll just move that. And I'm just going to bring that back. And that's cut out. Um, let's cut out your circle and it could have went a little bit further but that's okay you can use this on another project we're not going to use that one today so um, so now we're going to do is we're going to flip it over and with the same circle we're going to cut a little strip just a little um, piece off the bottom um, so this will be the top when like if you see here It'll be the top of um, your little box, but you'll see. So if you flip it over, you'll get what I mean. So and I'm just going to pop that on. So I'm only sort of cutting half, I will not, a quarter of that circle out. And I'm going to bring that back. And um, so that's that part done. And we don't need that piece either. So we'll keep that piece there. So... I'm going to pop this over here. We don't need this. Just we'll get it back out again in a minute. So now what you should have is your card should be, or your your little box should be like this. So this is your um, your little handle. And um, then when you put it all in, that'll be the inside of your box. So that's giving you that little, little curve. So it's pretty simple. So... Um, so before I um, do the stamping and that, I'll show you how I do the box. So what I'm going to do, you can miter the ends if you want to. I might just do a tiny little bit on the, um, take them in. Just to, um, so I'm just going to do a little bit of the mitering in there. I'm only doing it on the insides here. So, because I find if I... If you do all of it, um, you find it hard. I find it hard to um, get it all lined up. So, so now what we're going to do is these two little flaps here. We're going to push them in, and we're going to grab our glue. So you can use glue. You could use um, yeah, tear tape. You can use whatever you like. So all I'm going to do now is I'm going to bring this one up to here. So and then line that up and then I'm going to bring that one up and I'm going to line that up with the um, base of there so I, I find if you um, keep them flat like you don't cut these little flaps here you can line it up with the, the bottom of your box easier if you start cutting like mitering the ends it, it seems to um, but I like to glue those little flaps in on the inside you can you don't have to you can just glue the hole but I like to glue them in because if you're putting things in and out of the box you don't want that little flap getting caught so so that's what you should have so yeah do that and then all you got to do now is put glue on these two pieces here so I like to do one at a time so all we're doing is popping a little bit of glue on here and then we're going to bring that in and fold that onto that piece so you've got your fold like your um fold box the fold going at the back of your box so and um have you ever noticed every time i go live i like to, i seem to be doing lots of um 
I started off doing Fun Fold Friday for um, Fun Fold Cards, um, but um, I've decided to um, do boxes, so I think I might change my graphics to Fun Fold Friday, um, any projects, so cards or boxes or 3D items. So, so all I'm going to do now is I'm going to pop some glue on that side and... Um, and then we're just going to pop that over to there. You can put um, designer series paper on the sides of you if you like. Um, it's totally up to you. Um, you can have it however you like. But um, so, but these would make nice little Christmas presents. Um, little um, okay, that one's not gluing. I've just got to hold that for a second. So, hi Lisa, how are you? I need to order the circle dies. Yes, they are beautiful. So, actually, I'll go back and have a look. Yes, yeah, not confusing. Just hit the rewind a couple of times. Yes, that's it. <laughs> so, um, we're, it's raining here today, Michelle. We've got rain. Um, so, yeah, cold winter. Cold winter. Yeah, it's a cold winter day today. So, I've got the heat pump cranking. So, um, yeah. Hi Bev, how are you? Thanks for joining. Hi Lisa, how are you? I will pop over and um, look at your video later and um, share. I seem to go on the same time as you lately. So, um, But um, I've decided that Fridays are a good day because um, I'm, um, I tend to get everything done on a Friday. So... but. So I don't need, oh yeah, I will need that again. So there you go. That's our little um, little box already done. So um, our little door hanger um, thing. So, so now I'll pop that aside and we'll get all the stamping done. So um, I'll keep that piece there. So we're going to stamp the little um, the zebra and we're going to stamp the um, wild about you um because i am wild about my grandchildren so so we're gonna um i'm gonna uh, give you an option in a minute i'm not quite sure i stamped to white one um and i i'm gonna ask you um what you think but i'm gonna stamp um so i'm gonna stamp the zebra in just j so i'll do that one first i'll get all my stamping done so I'm just going to ink him up and I'm just going to stamp him about there. And there's our little zebra. So, and then I'm going to grab my um, wild about you and I'm going to pop him over. So I'm going to stamp that onto a piece of the Just Jade here. So I'm going to pop him there and I'm going to pop the lid on these um, stamp pads so um, because obviously that's how I um, got ink before on everything else so I'm going to pop them over there and I'm just going to give so I'm just going to um, because I want to cut both of these at the same time so so I've got that, that and that, um, and that's all the stuff that I need there. So I'm going to bring my cut and emboss back, and um, I'm going to cut all my pieces out. So, so I'm going to grab that again. Hopefully I'm in view. Take my lid off. I love the magnetic platform because I can cut all these out at the same time. So this is what I liked um, about it, So, and I know that they're not going to bounce so I might cut a little bit of that black so I don't need all that. So I'm going to pop my black there and my other, my little Just Jade piece. Where do, oh, he's here he is. So I'm going to pop that there, pop him there. So I'm going to stick that onto there. I'm going to cut my scallop one and I'm going to pop my, pop that over my, um, so I've got him where I want him. I might have to stand up a little bit and just um, manoeuvre that to where I want it. And then that there, I'm okay to go. 
get rid of the I think it's a dog hair and now my phone's decided to ring um, but um, they'll just have to wait until I'm finished so I've got everything there now so I'm just going to pop my lid on and I'm just going to run that hold that hopefully you can see that and I'm just running that through um, and there you go I should have um, all my pieces all cut so I'm just going to grab all those off and then I'm going to pop this away because I don't need this anymore. Pop it over there. So there is all my pieces all cut out. So I've got my box there. I've got my scallop piece and I've got my wild about you and so I put them over there so I don't, and I've got that piece there. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab my glue and I'm just going to glue this piece to the black scallop piece. And so, hi Margie, how are you? Hi Martha, how are you? Good evening from Highlands Ranch, Colorado. It's 9.30 here. Well, we've got 1.30 p.m. here today, so it's... um sort of um not mid afternoon but it's um yeah so so I'm just popping that onto that scalloped piece um and I just like that zebras can be any colour they don't have to be black and white they can be green so I've glued that to that and I don't need the glue anymore um oh yes I do so what I'm gonna do is um I've glued that piece to there and um, I'm just checking to make sure that um, I haven't missed anybody else's comment. <coughs> Excuse me. So now I've glued that to the um, to the back of my... Um, I'm just going to pop him on there and you can see that I've actually covered that um, yellow little piece up. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to glue him to the back because um, I didn't want um, too much dimension going on so I'm going to glue him to the back and um, I'm going to pop him on there so and so make sure he's um, on there I've, I cut this little one out I think a little bit um, higher a uh, bit lower but that won't matter so I've stuck that piece on and what I wanted to know is, because this one here I've done in um, the Bumblebee, I wasn't quite, I was looking and tossing and like thinking, which one did I want? Did I want to have the white, Whisper White, or actually no, I, looking at it now, I think the um, Just Jade. So what do you think? Do you think the white or you reckon I should stick with the Just Jade? So I was tossing up between that before, but I think I do like the Just Jade. But while I wait for you to let me know, uh, I'm going to use my Winker Stella and I'm just going to colour in. We'll just go around the, um, the little um, the zebra. I'm just going to go around the zebra and just give him a little bit of a... Um, like a shimmer so I'm just coloring coloring him in so I like to do this at the end because um, it gives it enough time to dry and I don't want that color to bleed through so um, so we're we're having a green um, just jade um, shimmery zebra so and don't forget his little tail so so now I've um, coloured him in with the glitter. I don't know if you can see, but um, it's yeah, it's, it gives it a bit of a shimmer. So okay, so we've got what have we got? Just jade, just jade, just jade. Um, I know what you meant, Sally. <laughs> just jade, yeah. No, I think just jade too. So hi, Roz. How are you? Thanks for joining. So. That's what I thought too. So what I'm going to do now is um, I'm just going to pop this up. But 
I thought, um, I found these while I was going um, through some stuff in my craft room and I thought, I haven't used these much. So I thought, well, I'll get these out. And um, so I've already got a piece already here. So I just need to get a, another piece out. If I can ever get them out, they seem to be stuck in the, in the bag. So I might just, okay. I think I need to take the whole lot out together. So I'm just going to snip a little piece off there and um, pop that over there. So I thought these were um, just like the nice size to go down either side. So I'm going to see how much I need. So I need to snip a little tiny bit of that off and hopefully it didn't go over there too far. So I'm just going to put a bit of the um, foam adhesive strip on, on the back of here. So I've just got a piece there, and I'll grab. So this has got um like stick sticky strip either side. So so I'm just going to pop another piece there. I could have done with a little bit more, but that's okay. So with Archie, his might not withstand all this being on here. It might disappear. Lincoln likes to have his all like um. His will be all in intact, but Archie gets a bit, um, he likes to know how things have done. So, but alrighty, so I'm just going to pop that onto there and I'm just going to pop him over, um, over his little legs. So, um, and I think that's about, could have went down a little bit, but that's okay. So there you go. So that is how I made, um, that little um, door hanger um, box. So we'll get rid of all this junk here. So what did you think about that? Do you think you'd give that a try? Give it a go. Um, it's a fun little project. Um, so, um, but I, I get inspired by so many things. So like different boxes, if I get something for Christmas or um, my birthday or something, and it's a box. I, I pull the box apart and I um, make things um, from that. So, but there you go. So that could fit into that one there. So, but I'm not putting these in it. But um, I'll sit that one back in there. But I'll give you an option. Like um, you could put, um, I've got a little box of Werther's Originals. So you could sit a box of those in there. So um, you could put a little matchbox car in there. So they could go, you could put them down. Um, I think they might go down in there. But if you probably a little bit too wide because it's getting caught on that other little thing. But you could put Tic Tacs in there, little matchbox car. Um, but I am going to, um, like I said, I'm getting some um, little treats. But I'm thinking about putting... Um, what do you call it? The because Archie's allergic to dairy, um, I can't give like little M and M's or anything like that. So um, I've got to steer away from all that, um, which is fine because I'm the same. Um, I can't have dairy. So I thought I might put in um, Skittles, like so they love Skittles. So um, I might just put it like a big bag of skittles in there for him and a little matchbox car or something so but yeah so that was my little idea so um and i was excited about doing that so um yes i love wink of Stella too kathy adorable little treat pouches they are thanks Roz. so but um yeah i hope you give it a try so but thanks for all the love hearts girls i really appreciate that so but um like I said, um, if you um, want to get a, I might even put a template on, um, template, a free PDF on my newsletter So um, for this. So if you would like to um, get that, you could subscribe to my, uh, subscribe. You could join my mailing list for my newsletter. Um, so um, I'd be happy to send you out um, a PDF for this um, for free. So, um, but um if you're watching it back on YouTube um, and you like what you see, please give me um, the thumbs up and please subscribe because I'm trying to build my subscribe list 
um, so I can actually do um, YouTube lives. So, but I'm getting there slowly. But um, anyway, so if you want to know anything, um, you would like to purchase any of these items um, in the show more box um, or in below this video, I'll have all the details of um, where you can go to. Um, anything that you would like to know so I'll have all the details at the end but anyway thank you very much for joining me and I hope you have a fantastic rest of the day wherever you are um, or night so and um, I'll catch you next time bye for now